Hello everyone, this is Adeline, and I am going to show you today how to marry the Silhouette Cameo with the Cutwork section of the Bernina's Design Works software program. I was so excited when I was finally able to figure this out, and kudos to Sarah Vedler for sharing with me her industry secret. I'm not sure it's really a secret, but it was what I needed to finally create the file so that I could cut it in the Cameo to match the embroidered design in the design works. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open an existing file and I've already created a Peeps cutwork file. What I did is I googled for a basic outline for Peeps. I love Peeps. I'm one of those crazy people that has eaten them since I was a little kid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little outline, cutwork outline, and I'm going to move it up to the center of my oval hoop. I really don't need the hoop, but it gives me an idea of what I'm working with. The next step is to remove the running stitch. So I'm just going to uncheck the running before. Then I'm going to change it from a cutwork file to just a basic running stitch. So now I have an outline of my design. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a rectangle around the peeps outline. So I'm going to come over to the left side of my toolbar here and I'm going to pick the correct Create Rectangle option. If you look at the flyout menu, which is you click on this lower corner right here, it'll pop up all the different shapes. So I've already selected the rectangle, so that's why it shows up first. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a rectangle around my peeps outline. It fills it in again with paintworks. And so to remove that fill, I'm going to go up to the rectangle selection tool and then I'm going to go to the paint bucket here and click none. In order for this to be a usable workable size I'm going to change it and the easiest way to do it is right up here. There's a couple of ways but truly this is the easiest way. I'm going to make sure that I don't have proportional checked and I'm going to change this to three inches and the height to six inches. Now that looks a little narrow so I'm going to change it again until I get exactly what I want. So I'm going to change this now to four. And four by six looks like a good size. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center both of them. So I'm going to click on the outline and then I'm going to click on the rectangle shape and I'm going to justify them by selecting line centers vertically. And then I could select align centers horizontally and now it's centered inside the rectangle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save it but I'm going to instead of save as I'm going to export it as an SVG. So I go down to export, over to SVG. When my little screen comes up, you can see that I have a few of them already saved. So what I'm going to call this is peeps. And instead of an applique shape or cutwork shape, I'm going to change it to SVG. Now I know it's my SVG and I can find it in my directory up here called Easter. So now we're all saved. So now my next step is to take this into the silhouette. So when I click on the silhouette it opens up and you really need designer edition and I have version 3. It has saved me a lot of aggravation. So now you're going to go to open and I'm just going to use a file menu and do you remember where I saved it? I saved it in my Easter folder. So now I just have to look for Peeps SVG. And there it is, right there. And I click OK. And it comes in. It's kind of hard to see. 
So what I like to do is I just pull over the whole design so I can see it, and you'll notice that it's not true size. So if you remember, it was four by six. So I'm going to go up to object, and I'm going to scale it. I'm going to select scale, then I'm going to unclick lock aspect, and I'm going to make the width four, and the height six and apply. When it does, it shrinks it down to make it fit. So now I'm going to drag this right up here. And the next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a compound path so that I can cut it. So I right click, I go down to make compound path. All right, so there's my bunny. And now it's going to be cut both the shape on the outside, the rectangle on the outside, and the bunny. Now if I wanted to eliminate that shape, then I could actually delete that. But let's take a look at what happens when I go to the cut properties. So I go to cut, and you've got now the solid red line that goes all the way around it, which indicates that it's time to start cutting. And usually what I do is I go down to the choices and I find fabric thin and that gives me the advanced option as well and I usually select a blade of about six and my speed I slow it way down to two and I use the thickness of 33 and that's what I would save it as. So now I'm going to go over here and save it as a studio file called Peeps SVG. And now I have one saved. Now, if I want to change this in any way, I have to get out of the cut function. So I have to unclick that and make take off the compound path and now I have this that I can just delete. So now I have just my plain shape. I can make him any extra size around him that I want or what I like to do is if I'm going to cut multiples I'm going to go up to object and I'm going to replicate and what I'm going to do is I can replicate it to the right, I can replicate below, and I can actually make a column of three, and that's not going to work, so undo. Let's try that again, replicate, and we'll do a row of three. And now I have three. Now there, that's a little close, so I'm going to just move it over, move this over as well. And I like to align everything. So I select it all, go to Object, and this time I'm going to use my Arrange function, Align, I'm sorry, and align it to the bottom. I'm rather new with this software. I've used other paper cutting softwares, the Pazzle software and the Cricut Design Studio. So this one's kind of new to me. So again, I'm going to draw a rectangle around this. And this one really doesn't matter, but if I want to, I can also scale that to make it easier to cut and change that as well but now I'm going to I have to select all of these I'm going to use control A and then I'm going to group them and then I'm going to make a compound path and now when I cut this go up here to the cut settings I have my cut file and then I do the same thing again there's my fabric choices and then I'm going to go to advanced and cut them out just like I did previously you can cut them out all the same color you can 
cut each one separately by making three separate bunnies or whichever you want to do. Now I'm going to save this and I'm going to save this as three peeps SVG even though it's my studio file but now I know what it is and I'm going to go ahead and cut and then I'll show you my steps of how I created my design on my blog. So I'm going to go now to my Bernina Design Work software and now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open and I'm going to go down to my Peeps app and it's going to open it up and you can see my little peeps bunny that I created. I added the paintworks right here for the eyes and the nose. If you don't have the paintworks, then you can just skip that. But on my blog, you will see how it lines up perfectly. The other one that I did is I went to Three Peeps app. And this is the one that I use to stitch out the three peeps on my blog, which I turned into a hand towel for Easter. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you get a lot out of it. Please leave me a comment if it was worth your while for me to make this video. Actually.